In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to burn match defense over the top, force your opponent to deep half, and then I'm going to give you kind of a little bit of a bonus tip at the end for how you can deal with deep halves. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I, I normally do videos every single day, do a couple videos a day for you guys, tips and tricks on how to get better at this game. Uh, I'm just trying to get better every day, and so I try to share some of that that I'm learning along the way with you guys. Now, uh, I am a little bit under the weather today, uh, so just give me a little bit of grace if I'm a little bit, you know, my voice is a little bit off. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be taking a look at the play dig return. Now, you can find this in several playbooks. It's actually best out of the Seattle book because you can pair it with the play clear out SE out, which we're going to talk about at the end of the video. Um, but what you're going to see here is dig return. So if I were to go to uh, cover four show two, which is cover four match out of three, three, five wide. And all I got to do is streak the R1 receiver. What you're going to notice here is this R1 is going to burn the match coverage over the top. As you can see right there, it's a complete bug in the game. Okay. It just, the bottom line is it's a, it's a glitch. Um, I think it definitely needs to be patched. Um, because it just doesn't, it shouldn't work like this at all, but it does. Um, it's not the rules of the coverage by any means. And as someone that likes to run a lot of match coverage, uh, I would love for this to be, uh, for this to work properly. But anyways, so that's that side. And then you'll see on this side, it's a little bit better. Um, it's a, the, the defense plays a little bit better. Sometimes it can get randomly like, you saw right there, like sometimes every now and then they'll make a weird play. Typically... That's because somebody gets bumped or, you know, something like that. So, again, let me show it one more time. Cover four, show two. There you see. And you just want to make sure that when you pass through this, you pass through that to the inside. And as you can see, I'm able to burn the match coverage. Now, uh, if they're playing, if you're playing a good player, uh, actually, real quick, let me show you this one more time. But I want to show you against cover four palms. So, I just audible to cover four palms on a nickel normal. And you're going to see that the same result is gonna happen every single time. So um, it doesn't matter if it's quarters, palms, or six, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna bomb it, okay? So what they're, any good Madden player and any experienced Madden player is going to do is they're going to deep half the safety on the right. Now if they do that, don't be afraid to hit this little zig route. Like it's wide open, okay? Um, they're obviously gonna have to use her that route. You can run really whatever you want on the left. Um, you know, if you want to run a little basic concept like that, uh, you'll see here the bomb will still get open over the top, and then you'll also have a nice little check down over the middle. Okay, so you can do that as well. But another concept that I want to talk about is this right side hash mark play from clear out. Now, I will tell you, I'm going to actually sub out Antonio Brown because um, in regs, I don't know, it hasn't been patched. It's just the abilities and the ratings aren't as good as they are in MUT. And so because of that, Brady will have a little bit of trouble making this throw. But in Mutt, you're going to find a lot more consistency. Actually, I'm sorry. Let me put uh, – oh, wait. No, I have I have Scotty Miller there. Okay. So you just want somebody fast out there uh, for that position. So I'm going to put that deep half out there. And then we're just going to put R1 on a corner. Or if you don't have hot rod muster, you can put him on an out rod or a zig route. Okay. What you're going to see, though, is the safety will take a step to the inside, a pretty big step to the inside. As soon as he does that, it's basically a false inside step. And what it's going to do is it's going to put him a step behind that, that fade. And so you're able to hit this over the top very consistently against a match whenever they deep half. You're also able to hit this consistently if they are running some type of cover two defense as well, uh, which is another popular meta at this point in the year. We see he takes a big step inside. I throw the ball outside, and as you can see, I'm able to do a little quick swerve catch and burn this coverage. So one little disclaimer about this route combo is let's say, for example, um, that they, you know, you're trying to run this to the left hash. It's not a right left. It does work best on the right hash, but it will still work on the left hash. The problem is that you can't run this to the wide side of the field. This concept won't work as well. Uh, so what you're going to see here is this deep half. He won't take that misstep. And so it's just going to be an ag, ag catch. Uh, which, honestly, if you have a tall receiver, you're going to make most of those ad catches. But as you can see, it's it's really more of something that you want to be utilizing uh, to the short side. And so this is one of the main reasons why um, I really like the Seattle playbook. Because it, you still have the ability to burn uh, like those deep halves. 
things like that. But then you also have this play bunch trail that you can always use as well. So I'm just going to set up kind of an abbreviated version of bunch trail for this. And if you're getting the same matching concept where they're doing something like that, the deep half, what you're going to notice is it's basically just going to isolate, as you can see. Now, as long as that guy on the left can beat me in coverage, um, that post is going to be over the, open over the top. So anyways, that's kind of some ways that you can burn match out a bunch. And uh, I really hope that EA Sports sees this video or somebody tells them about this glitch uh, because the dig return glitch is completely ridiculous. It shouldn't be played that way. Um, really even the clear out one is a little bit ridiculous, but I'd rather the clear out one it makes a little bit more sense, uh, but because it is a fade, but the dig return one is a complete bug in the game. So anyways, if someone is running a lot of match and you want to make them get out of it, these are two to three plays that you can use to do that. I want to thank you for watching the video all the way through. And if you want to learn more about my Madden 22 content, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. I've got uh, a ton of eBooks over there. By joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks, including the bunch, the bunch tight end, trips tight end, 335 wide, dollar 326. I've uh, got a new little update on the dollar coming t uh, next couple of days. And we actually just released, I think, what is the best defense in the game, the nickel normal out of the San Francisco playbook. So if you want to check all that stuff out, there's a link in the description below to join the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys later.